also dope in major mohammed ali shah and let me tell you why mohammed ali shah is here ali your uh, grandfather mr ali mohammed shah uh, was the administrator for the ajmer dargah uh, in fact uh, ali there was a buzz of you also taking on that same position just a few months ago which is the committee last year what do you make of what's going on right now you know there is obviously a history attached to ajmer e sharif but the hindus say that there is a history prior to the history attached to the muslim community uh when it comes to the dargah it's it's obviously a very sensitive matter but the court in rajasthan you know has sent this matter forward to the asi and the central government they want to probe the matter where do we go from here right vinit needs thank you very much for having me on your show on a very very sensitive and a pertinent subject firstly let me tell our audience that ajmer sharif dargah is a very very secular place where not only muslims but even hindus from not just india from all over the world they come and they visit valid they, point uh, valid like point it, yes so they come from all over the world and it is a very very sacred place which has its own sanctity now when a case like this is comes up i mean they people internationally globally will say they they, they have right to go to the court everyone anyone has a right to go to the court it's okay but what if the court rules out that the appeal was a frivolous appeal what if i am no one to decide whether it is or it's not the court comes out with that then what happens then the entire credibility is lost which means they after people will only say that oh first ram mandir then gyan bapi then mathura then uh, you know kashi then something on the other sambal and now ajmer is dargah so and in fact if you see in islam there is no concept in islam where people actually worship a dargah or pray to dargah or read or offer namaz to the dargah to the shrine per se they offer namaz to the mosque all right now as per what i know the history that i know if it has to be changed that's a different story altogether but the history that i know that it was that ajmer sharif dargah or the dargah ajmer sharif it was it's a shrine to the famous sufi moindin chishti khwaja gharib nawaz from 80 from 1141 AD to 1236 AD located in Ajmer Sharif which we all know and uh, in Rajasthan which is now the construction of the dargah it was started by Iltutmash and completed during the reign of uh, Himayu now the main gate of Ajmer Sharif uh, the dargah is called Nizam gate now because it was built in 1911 by Mir Ka Usman Ali Khan who was then the Nizam of Hyderabad See, then after the after this comes the uh, Shah Jahan Gate uh, built by uh, Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. Now finally this comes at the the Buland Darwaza is there which was built by Sultan Mahmud uh, Khilji. Now this Buland Darwaza is different than uh, the Buland Darwaza in uh, in in, uh, in Fatehpur Sikri. That's a different one. Now that is the history we have learned in school and now on which the flag of this is hoisted every year, which is uh, on the occasion of the Urz. which is which is khwaja chishti and the uh, the ceremony begins from there now this uh, as i mentioned earlier that about ajmer that's a history we know now it's a new turn that uh, we have heard well they have a right to appeal to the court okay but again i'm thinking what if the court uh, decline that appeal and says the appeal is frivolous the entire credibility is lost and in fact uh, my grandfather ali mohammed shah he did but have you heard them. of these claims in the past ali have you heard of these claims in the past or is this the first oh, time you oh, heard oh. something like this okay, okay. In this case also the archaeological survey of india will definitely conduct a very fair survey and submit a report to the court okay and we hindus are law abiding people we are not like muslims who will resort to violence all the time लॉयर से Uh, he said it was very very offensive he said we are law, we hindus are law abiding citizens we are not like muslim community who not he uh, the way advocate chomal advocate chomal that's that's unwarranted advocate chomal no sir i can't allow you to speak like this we are not in this business tahira ji quickly 
stated very clearly that each and every citizen Advocate Chomal, Advocate Chomal, I, I, I think you are unnecessarily instigating uh, an avenue which doesn't need to be. However, however, we are not going to get personal with any of our guests. Unfortunately, we've run out of time as well. Mohammed Alisha, uh, thank you for being here and thank you for showing so much patience. We take a short break now.